Guys, with this match underway, you have to imagine that Solo Sokoa has some dangerous intentions in mind for this one. And of course he does, Cole. The street champ is all about sending a message, and not a particularly positive one. Ferocious, dangerous, these are just a couple of words to describe Solo Sokoa. Some have also called him a menace, Corey. You do not want to get on Sokoa's bad side, but I'm not sure there's anything other than a bad side when it comes to this guy. Yeah, but anybody that is riding off Elias could find himself sorely mistaken. Don't let his melodies fool you. Elias is one sinister songsmith who believes himself to be the truth teller. And he's coming in tonight motivated by all the disrespect he's been feeling from the WWE Universe. Everything about Elias is painful, from his music to his attacks in the ring, but don't disrespect the man's capabilities. Elias is fully capable of making sure that his tune will be the last one you'll hear. Corey, we know how intimidating and devastating Solo Sokoa is when he gets going. What do you think is the key to overcoming a competitor like him? If there's one thing about Sokoa that could be his downfall, Cole, it's the fact that he can be a bit of a hothead, which is why if you're going to go up against him, you have to be the one to stay clear-headed. As much as he drives through his opponents like a big rig truck, you cannot let him get to you no matter what. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Reverses it. Yeah. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. That's your perfect takedown. And Elias there got some pain directed right to him. Yeah, Asakoa put that ferocious nature of his on full display. Yeah. Counters. This could be an opportunity. the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. One step ahead of Elias there. Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. Can he do it here? Only a one count before the kick out. He clearly has no intention of staying down. to that pin attempt. through pure physicality. Elias is being carefully measured now. Back elbow completely cuts them off. Elias looking, uh-oh, blow to the abdomen, gets them out of that. What a nice takedown. Momentum clearly on the side of Sokoa. Solo's really on top of his game right now. Big splash. Sokoa got him in his sights. Winding up. Solo and Spike. Solo can end this now. That's it. Solo Sokoa gets the win. Here is your winner, Solo Sokoa. They went the extra mile in this win. I agree. What a win. Well, no one's going to be walking with Elias tonight, I can tell you that much.
What an absolute physical specimen Rick Boogs is, guys. No kidding, Michael. He's more muscle than man. I'm sure we're going to see Boogs use each and every muscle he has in this battle. But let's not forget our truth is a well-seasoned veteran with a laundry list of title reigns attached to his name. This is a competitor who knows what's up. I can't disagree. R-Truth's proven he has what it takes to be an enduring mainstay on the WWE roster. Truth's a gifted superstar, and that laundry list says 24-7 more times than Saxton can count. You know what here, Corey? The Colossal Clutch. Tap out. Do it now. Live. Slip right underneath, and just like that, he's out of the hole. He's taking this to the floor now. Don't let his attitude fool you. Rick Boogs is an amazing athlete. What kind of game plan do you need to have going up against a man like Boogs? You got to keep your distance from Boogs. Stay out of arm's grasp. That's bound to frustrate Boogs, and that's when you got to strike. A oh, bear hug. Squeezing the breath out of him. I'm going to tap out here. Bear hug. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. He'll take things into the ring. And they just got back in. He got whipped into that corner. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. We know that taking out the legs is one of the most effective strategies in any match. Hoist it up. Whipped over in a snap suplex. Horseshoe calf kick. Ooh, and a reversal. Oh, God! Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And able to beat Boots to the punch. Oh, man! Ouch! He's looking a little off balance. Can he score the pin? Oh. He easily stops the ref's count. Fighting hard to stay in this match. But 
until Jimmy hurts. Is it enough to put Rhodes away? Wow, just barely making it out. Just an incredible wherewithal to get the shoulder up. Hey, you would think he'd be out of it after taking that maneuver. I can see it in the eyes from here. Disbelief. Unbelievable how this one is still going on. What's up? What a move. And this has got to be it. Oh, my God. What a shocker. Able to somehow power out in two. As this match goes on, is there any self-doubt running through the minds of these competitors? You can't even allow that notion to creep into your head. You have come too far and fought too hard to grow weak now. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Boots balancing himself up top. Staring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Take off. Diving shoulder tackle. Boots just focused on finishing this. It's that time in the match where we all take a trip on the Boots Cruise. Exclamation delivered by Boots. He kicked out of two. I truly thought it was all over there. Talk about resilience. Yeah, but did you see how the referee had to get into position? That was all the difference. A new strategy is needed right about now if that couldn't end things. How's that for a counter? Oh, kicks right to the midsection. A pretty dropped in the corner. No hole stopping. Good defense. Punch right in the head. ready to erupt. Are we close to the beginning of the end? Boogs just unleashed all of his power. Oh, here's the power. The absolute power of Rick Boogs. And delivering the Boogs Cruise. Is that enough to take out True? Two. Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Rick. You cannot say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. Those aches and pains are going to be a reminder of this win for days to come. Ilya Dragunov ready to bring his aggressive style to his opponent here tonight. Dragunov has to be one of the toughest competitors in WWE. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. And he makes out of the sleeper. Sent into the corner. And JD gets that turn back on him. The ultimate sign of disrespect. Shot after shot, then slip. He goes to the quick pin attempt. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. Probably knew that wasn't going to be enough at this stage, but every time you cover your opponent, you make them kick out. Every kick out exerts energy. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Dragunov has said to himself, and I quote, I am violence, and he considers him quick pin attempt here. And bypasses the pinfall. He thought he could get 
get this thing finished fast. Yeah. Big forearm. Back elbow smash, nothing fancy. Schoolboy pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. Oh, power. Looked like JD's focus got rattled there. And there was that aggressive offensive style of Dragunov on full display. Sit up, jawbreaker! You can pick up your teeth in the third row. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. Shifts it back onto him. Oh, face stop. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Able to reverse. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Targeted stop to the arm. Lands in the drop zone. right into the corner. Yeah. Incoming, big clothesline connects, and more to come. Incredible! And a kick. Oh, targeting the stomach. Physicality. You saw that fire in Ilya's eyes. As Does he have him here? Kick it out before the count. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Off. Yeah. Four all across the face. Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Three. Turn your lights out. Dragonov's 
being stalked. Dangerous situation. Not too familiar with this one. What can you tell me about this guy, Corey? From what I've seen so far, he's been pretty unremarkable, Cole. I'm not even sure how he ended up in WWE, to be honest with you. Well, let's hope he uses this match to prove why he deserves to be here. Too bad he's in there with the aptly named ring general, Gunther. This man has chopped layers of skin off some of the toughest competitors in the world. There are few superstars who are as merciless as Gunther. You look at that man, and there is nothing behind the eyes. He has that kind of aura, that, that presence, that can end a match before it even begins. Dragon Sleeper in the ropes. No. <laughs> Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Overhand connects. Nothing fancy there. Spinning your Anagi. He's burying elbows in the midsection. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Oh, Gunther put a stop to that. Gunther's offense. Gunther sidestepped that one. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Springboard moonsault expertly executed. It has to be tough being as rigid as Gunther is. You have to wonder if Gunther is going to bend or break here tonight. Cole, you wouldn't understand the higher standard that Gunther holds himself to. There's a reason why he has been so internationally successful and he hasn't broken yet. When you hold yourself to his level, you're just better. Plain and simple. Nicely done. He's getting a little batter now. Foot to the midsection. Trying to talk with the back of the neck here. He steps foot in the ring again. Oh, this superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is, I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down and out, moments ago, back in it now. Vicious right forearm. Firm control. Oh, man, what a boot. And Gunther's starting to really feel the wear and tear on this battle. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Ooh, nice takedown with the leg sweep.
gets his shoulder up before the two count. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. It's a fatal four-way match. Four superstars, one fall to a finish. The number of competitors is four, but the volatility is off the charts. This is like putting four wild animals against each other. The tension is absolutely
time close line. Good grief. Big ball. Boom. Has the opposition in the palm of his hand, and he knows it. High impact cross body. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah, he's taking some hits, but in a fatal four way, you expect to get a little roughed up. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. is feeling confident to be taunting like this. And Champa hits back. the submission. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. And now he may be planning to turn this match into his very own home run derby. Please tie that one. Elbow drop right on the He's absorbed. He's got him down. Is this it? And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. Heading back to the ring. And he has an answer for Price. Oh, he can't wrap it up. Oh, man, right 
to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Eyeballs in big, big trouble. He went right into that turnbuckle. Yeah. Look at when he breaks up the pin. Charlie's 
horse. Stop in the arm. Should have been over, but he breaks the hold. Priest has it lined up. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Ice in Champa's veins right now. He doesn't give a damn if his opponent gets a breather. It's just more time for him to punish. We're taking this one back. To the ring now. Oh, what a right hand! Attitude behind it. Big overhand. Oh, Step with the shoulder. And it hits to the core. Keep coming. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. He slips him. How do you with that? Weapon in hand saying, I'm up in the ante. tonight.